Well, um, you know, I think we ourselves really need to receive from God first to be able to give something to others. And we really have to have God's heart um, for sharing His message of salvation with other people. If we don't have in our heart, it will be more like um, a job which won't have good impact on people. I would pray and ask God to um, give me a passion. If you are a woman watching this, uh, an American woman who has grown in this country as a Christian, you might not know some of the struggles of um, other women who are Muslims and live in a completely different condition. Even though you hear about, you know, the condition of other Muslims, and you might see in movies or films um, what the condition is like, but it's very different from experiencing it and being in their place. So I would just pray and ask God to first give me um, his presence and his wisdom, how to relate to those women, because we can really hurt someone uh, if we don't know their condition, if we don't know their situation. We think we might be helping them, even you know, approaching them or sharing the message of salvation with them if we are not wise and if we don't know their situation. And I think each situation is different, really. Um, one Muslim woman could be different from another. One Muslim woman could be more open uh, to the message and some more would, could be more prejudiced or religious we have to really pray for each situation. I remember when we were evangelizing in Iran, we would pray, really, every night before going for distributing Bibles or even evangelizing people. We would pray and ask God to give us His words and wisdom on how we should, we should be approaching people. Yeah, as Mayam shared, I believe there are, you know, a lot of uh, people, a lot of Muslims and other religions in this country that we can approach them and share the message of salvation uh, with them. And I realize some people unfortunately feel uh, ashamed uh, of talking about their faith. And uh, I believe we should not ashamed. We should proud uh, talking uh, about uh, our faith with everybody. And also some people I found out they have the fear of, you know, talking to uh, a foreigner, a Muslim, uh, you know, but I believe uh, in God we shouldn't have any fear and uh, we should share this message uh, because this is uh, God's uh, command to us to share this message with every nation, every people. And the best way to approach those people is to build a friendship. Uh, people should feel that we want, we love them, that uh, it's not just we wanted to, you know, share about um, another religion because uh, when we just go to those people just talk start talking about uh, Christianity they may think that you wanted to brainwash them and just you know with another religion but we need to show the love of God to people through our behaviors through our friendship and then it's uh, you don't need even to uh, share about it. Uh, your faith because they start keep asking about you what happened in prison was the same Mariam and I we never uh, went to prisoners to talk about Jesus it was them that came to us because of our behaviors because of our prayers because they could see miracles uh, through our prayers and uh, they were keep coming to us and asking uh, questions I remember one uh, great story uh, um, Mariam and I shared um, our faith with uh, a lot of prisoners uh, in that uh, prison, horrible prison, and our interrogators found out that we are talking to prisoners about our faith in Jesus. And I remember uh, one day he talked to me, uh, he was so mad at us, and he shouted at me and told me that I have heard that you are talking to prisoners about your fake religion, yeah, you're brainwashing our youths, you should shut your mouth here and not talk to uh, people, to our youths, you are brainwashing them. And I told, uh, I told him that, uh, first of all, I believe it is you who are brainwashing uh, you know, uh, our youth with your um, Islamic ideology. I, if Islam works, so why so many youths are here instead of being in the universities? And second, I believe it is your fault by arresting us and putting us in this prison. And prisoners are curious. They ask us, what is our charge? So we have to explain to them why we are here. So do not blame us. It is your fault. And that's why we have to share this message uh, 
with people. And he was, I could see that he was so desperate. He was fr frustrated because we already were in prison and they couldn't do anything else with us. And that's why we both believed that we were more free inside prison rather than outside prison because when we were free outside, we we, we would pray that God show, uh, show us a right person to speak. But inside prison, we didn't have any fear and we could talk to anybody and share uh, the message of salvation. And just to add something to what Marcia just shared, it, she sh talked more, a lot about, you know, behaviors, how, how you show your faith and how you show God's love to people. And I would just say sometimes just um, God maybe doesn't want to use our words. We don't have to always be talking and sharing. And sometimes he wants to use us to do something for those women exactly. and just uh, recognize what their needs are and try to be of help to them, provide for them, or if they have their needs, uh, that's the best way uh, because God doesn't want us, uh, this is something that we both really strongly believe, that He doesn't want us to, to just be talking about Him and feel like we just can go to people and share the message. He wants to see that we are also, um, you know, we are active, we are taking some actions and we are concerned about people's need. What do they need? Sometimes they don't need prayers, they don't. They need us to do something for them. And that's really important to recognize that. And we did the, uh, this in prison. Yeah. Uh, there were prisoners that they uh, could, they couldn't afford to get some, uh, you know, snacks from the uh, store in prison. And we could buy some, uh, you know, some of those things, some chocolates, especially for some prisoners. They had children, and Mariam and I always uh, would buy those things and share with them. And through that way, you know, by helping them, because they were in prison for years and nobody, they didn't have anybody outside to support them. And we had this uh, chance to, you know, buy some uh, some food uh, and some snacks for them from the store and to build friendship uh, with them. And as Mariam said, this uh, this is uh, one way that we can help people because sometimes people need uh, need us to you know to help them uh, in difficult situations. Mm -hmm.